Hey, I wish I had time to read you all of the emails that I get on a regular basis and I get some doozies. I'm not going to read you this one, but I'm going to hit the highlights of it. The guy sent an email to our office and he says, I got a question for Al. Then he started off by going over all of the challenges that he had in his life for the past four years. And believe me, some of them were really, really, really tough to take. Most of us would never deal with the things that this guy had to deal with on a, on a, a daily basis for about four years before he sent me this. And then after spewing all of this stuff, stuff, he asked the question, the question was simple. Why do you believe in God? Whoa, <laughs> you know, why do you believe in God? After all of the hard things that he, he went through, that was, and that was from the heart. My first response when I read that is because nothing else makes sense to me. Now that wasn't always the case in my life. Uh, until I was in my mid thirties, uh, I was, it wasn't that I, didn't, that I didn't believe in God. I believed there was a God, but I really didn't care much about, much about what he did or where he was or how it impacted my life. I wasn't an atheist. I wasn't an, an agnostic. I just, you know, que sera, sera. My world was fishing and that's all I really cared about, period. Nothing else. <laughs> I was obsessed with fishing. And then around, around 35 years old, and you know, I've seen a lot of things, been to Vietnam, uh, 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 fought a war, been in business, uh, seen challenges that people went to. Uh, I met and seen more people. I started to get a tugging in my heart to look at the things of God. And, and uh, uh, I, got, uh, I started looking at the different religions, uh, studied the different religions, a little bit about the founders, the foundation of their beliefs in the different religions. And uh, then I got, got, got to the Bible and looked through the Bible. And, and out of all of these things, it's the Bible makes the most sense. So the more I dug into it and studied and looked and I opened myself up, I started to open myself up. And after two years of looking and searching uh, with all my heart to try to find the truth, and there one night, 9.15 in the evening, I turned my life over to the Lord. I bent my knee. So Jesus, I'm sorry, sorry for, for, for my sins, the things that I did wrong in my life. I ask you to come into my life. I turn, turn my life over to you. With your help, I'll serve you. And uh, uh, I just made a simple confession of faith. And I got into the Word of God, the Bible at that point, and I haven't put it down since then. I love it, love it, love it, love it. When I made that decision that night and shortly after I got into the Word, all I can tell you, after looking at it, this is real. This is, I'm all in. There ain't no turning back, baby. There's no going back now. I'm all in. You said this is what it is, God. I'm going to put you to the test. And I did for the last 40 years of my life. And he's been faithful to reveal to me so many things in so many ways, the truth and power that's in this word. If you're willing to open your heart and mind and look and want it, is there and he will answer those prayers. And that's why I believe in God. And to my friend, the best advice I can give you for the aches and the broken heart that you're dealing with now, God is the only one that can solve that issue for you. You and God, nobody else. He can take that pain away. Trust him. Hey, from all of us here at The Edge, you have a good safe fishing season. We'll see you on the water. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets.